Hey guys, Chip here, and today I want to talk to you about a new update to EV Plus Cycles Material System. So if you're not familiar with it, EV Plus Cycles Material System is a set of kit ops compatible materials that has been designed specifically for designers so that they can use them for different kinds of textures, um, you know, like dirty textures, edge wear, car textures, there's all kinds of camo, special kinds of plastics, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's carbon fiber, a bunch of things, decals, a lot of different things. And so it works really nicely with kit ops. And as an industrial designer myself, these are materials that I want to use. And one of the things that's most interesting about all of these materials is like, is that unlike a lot of other material add-ons and packages is they don't use the same node groups. Each material can have many different kinds of node groups that are optimized to make that material look good. So in each one of the shaders, you have different sets of controls for each material. So it's not like there's one material and we're just swapping out different parameters. The other thing is that when possible, we also try and use photographic references for materials and not procedural. Today, I want to talk about a material that was requested by one of my subscribers on Discord, and they asked if I could create a brushed metal material. And brushed metal has a lot of problems in terms of setting it up inside of Blender. But since I've recently made some pretty interesting materials using some advanced rotational node groups, I figured I might be able to apply this to a new brushed metal material. So this is what I ended up with. And these are all materials that come with EV Plus Cycles. And I've added a brush metal and they also have anastopic reflections, which is really cool. So let's take a look and see what we're talking about. So here are the materials. If I zoom up on them inside of cycles, you'll see that they all have a very interesting brush surface. If you look at some of these, this is like a brushed anodized dark and a brushed anodized blue and an orange. This is gold. This is brass. Over here we have aluminum. This is copper. And of course these are using the PBR exact color shades for these particular materials. Titanium, steel, chrome. So you get the idea. There's a lot of different materials here and they all have the ability to adjust not only the brush size, but also if you look at this, if you look at this as the simple material, right? I've got this ability in here to actually rotate this. If I want to say 90 on this one, I can do that. And now you'll see that now the brush is going this direction. So there's a lot of interesting things you can do when you start being able to rotate these as well. And of course you can do knobs as well. You can adjust different things like roughness, bump strength, and bump distance to create a bumpier type of brush metal. If you go too low on the roughness, you'll see that you kind of lose the actual material uh, it's not quite as, as nice. The defaults for this should probably be something at 0.3. Kind of works nice. Gives it a nice satin finish. This one shows the rotation of the material on here to be 90, whereas the rotation over here is it can be zero. On the top one, it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of interesting. So you can mix and match if you want to have different rotations on different parts of your object. The other key thing is that if you're looking at the, at the top of this, we have not only anastropic is turned on, I can turn it off, but I can turn it back on and I can rotate it too. I can rotate it however I want to. So that's kind of a neat thing as well. So these are all just going to be additions to the EV plus cycles material system. They're very simple to use. As you recall, it's just shift a, let's do a, let's, let's add a uh, cube and let's move it over here, tab into it, control B, let's just bevel it like this, tab into it. And you just go into these, materials and here they here that shows them so we have brushed aluminum brushed anodized blue brushed titanium steel gold copper chrome brass red and dark so i can just choose anything let's just choose this copper and i can basically say add material and we'll have a really nice copper material now one thing i'll mention is that if you go into eevee eevee will not do the anodized they'll still show the brush material but it's not going to give us any anodized features. That's only going to show up inside of Cycles. One other thing I'll mention is that my Patreons will get all these materials for free. So if you're already a subscriber to Patreon, which is a dollar a month, you can go ahead and jump over there and download these materials for free. And if you don't have a copy of Kit Ops, grab a copy of free Kit Ops. It'll work and just unzip these, drop them into one of the existing master folders that you have, and it'll work fine. Also, I'll be updating the EV Plus Cycles materials at Blender Market and Gumroad as well. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you online. Bye.